I'm Lane Johnson, and this is my bro, Mark. So this was just finished, I think maybe a month ago, a month and a half ago. And really this is just all the guys that have lifted in the barn over the past few years. Got myself on here. I have Matt Pryor, Jalen Hurts, quarterback of the Eagles, and Nate Herbig. You know John Runyon Seniors, John Runyon Jr. And he's with the Packers. This is uh, Cesar Ruiz. Kelsey's probably the funniest individual to have in here. He, uh, you never know what you're gonna get. But one thing about him, he's super strong, works his tail off, but sometimes he, uh, he has a short fuse, which is, uh, very funny to watch, but maybe not to be around, but Jason Kelsey comes here a lot. Uh, Isaac comes here uh, every now and then. Justin Pugh, is, uh, is that what they call it? Is that a Fu Manchu? With a Fu Manchu. Here, I'm, I'm not, not even sure where the hell this guy came from. So for here, this is our belt squat machine. So Elite uh, Fitness uh, gave us all of our equipment. Usually during the season, you have a lot of pounding on your body. So this is a great way to get a lower body lift in. What I like about it is that it tractions your back. So it kind of decompresses the low back and you can still get that work on, in on your legs. Yeah, man, it, uh, it'll, it'll, it'll take a toll on you. But one, probably one of my favorite pieces of equipment is the belt squat machine. This is our uh, cap developer. Really, with me, I got it just because of you know the ankle injuries that all this linemen get. A lot of gyms don't have this. Uh, I know we don't have it up at the facility, so it's just a, a good way to work on that. And hey, man, bigger calves is, uh, is always a, a good thing. You know, we got tired of seeing guys uh, with uh, not a whole what they call it, not a whole lot of lead in their pencils. So. You know, whenever you're coming out of the draft, he says, you know, my scout report says he has a thin lower body. He needs to add some lead to his pencil. So we end up getting the booty builder machine and, and it's, it's added a little bit more lead over time. Still not where I want to be, but just a little bit more lead than what it used to be. So get on here and there is a little uh, marker here that shows you if you're a certain height, where the seat should be. So, you know, uh, we kind of sit all the time. You know, people are on our phones, people are sitting in chairs for what they do for work. So this is a great way to kind of waken the glutes. A lot of people, what they call it, they have glute amnesia. So it's a great way to fire up the glutes. So a lot of times we'll start with this uh, for lower body day to get warmed up and then progress from there. This here is the T-Bar Row Machine. It is a great way to work out your back, and really the posterior chain. What I do, I do a lot of pressing, you know, every day, part of my job. So a way to kind of reverse that and get your back strong is this, usually a few days out of the week, and probably one of my favorite machines. I was first introduced to this machine uh, when I was in junior college. It was one of my coaches, Coach Gooden, uh, to be exact, he's now the coach at uh, the Kilgore Junior College. So this is one of the machines he introduced me to and something that I love, so. Great, great machine and something we use really a lot. We just insta installed a urinal here. Um, unfortunately, it's only for men. Uh, we did this because there's a school that was recently put behind my house, so we didn't want uh, Chris Hansen to pop up and maybe take us to jail. Yeah, uh, sometimes we'll come here maybe after for conditioning, but sometimes we'll do bear crawls up it, uh, reverse bear crawls down, just a different way to attack the body. But um, a lot of times we'll hit the one man sled, we'll do different competitions here. Uh, so really a pretty unique, I guess, training environment. Uh, over here is the school that I was just telling you about. This is why we had the urinal install. And sometimes we'll be doing our drills and there'll be 30 kids out there uh, having recess and it, I kind of get it like a Billy Madison vibe, you know, Chris Farley when he steals all their lunches and eats it. So we got that kind of going here. A lot of times maybe for conditioning, we'll push this up for time. And the trick is, is to not try to go too fast because uh, stability wise, it's kind of hard to keep in a straight line. So we've had some guys uh, push it off the ledge. Uh, we've had some, some funny incidents, but uh, just a different way to, to work it and just work on what I do for a living is pushing people from point A to point B, so good device.